is Dave Joha once again for Punch Out Boxing. Please be joined by a friend of the show, Adam Morali. How are you, mate? I'm good, mate. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm good. We're in uh, we're in the sunny Midlands today. Um, you're back with Joe Joyce and what could be another great night for, for Joe. I mean, he looks in fantastic shape. He looks very, very, I want to say structured, but determined to do a job on, on Cash Alley as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Look, Joe's September 2022. Joe fights Joseph Parker. He's the top of the world. He's the most feared guy in the heavyweight division. He's lost to Zhang twice since then, and I think everybody wants to know, was that a blip or is Joe on the decline? And Joe's, for me, not on the decline. That was a blip. And tomorrow night, he's going to show that he's back. So with, with Joe Parker doing a, I want to say a job, but he gave in a solid performance against Zhang because yeah. loads of people wrote off uh, Joe Parker. He looks like he's going to be fighting him again. The heavyweight division is in a good mix again, isn't it? After Joe Parker's destruction of, uh, of, of Zilli Zhang, I mean, that fight could happen again, can't it? I mean, yeah, I mean, look, I think Parker beat Zhang, Zhang beats Joyce, Joyce beats Parker. Shows styles make fights in the heavyweight division, and I think that you know, Parker's a tremendous fighter. He's beaten Wilder and Zhang in his last two fights. I mean, that's incredible, isn't it? Yes. So I, I want to see Joe Joyce fight Joe Parker again, hopefully with a WBO world title on the line. Joe's got to come back. He's got to establish himself. He's got to get his confidence back tomorrow. And that's really what I want to see. Do you, do you think as well, like with the with the belts being held up by Usyk and Fury, it has to be a position where one of them has to retire or go to free up the heavyweight division again? Yeah, I think what happens is there's been that undisputed fight has been so long in the making that I think the governing bodies have talked amongst themselves. I think a lot of the belts are going to fragment after Fury Usyk won. There will be a two, but after Fury Usyk won, a lot of fragment. I think Joe Parker will probably be upgraded to full champion. Um, and maybe we'll see that. Maybe we see the IBF become vacant. Ergovic, Joshua fight for it. Probably what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite impressive as well. I mean, another heavyweight is on your payroll, Solly Soldakers. Unfortunately, he couldn't fight. I mean, he's yeah, only, absolutely yeah, like... gutted about that. He's supposed to fight David Adelaide. Uh, David Adelaide, that fight's been delayed, hopefully to April 20th. And I'm talking to Sol today, but yeah, really gutted for Sol that he couldn't fight in his hometown. He sold a load of tickets as well. And just very finally as well, the heavyweight division will be on watch, shall we just say, on May the 17th when Fury finally takes on Usyk. How do you break that one down as a, as, as a fan? And obviously you, you probably want a certain outcome or are you not bothered about the no, outcome? for me, I mean, unfortunately, if Joe had beaten Zhang, maybe. Um, it's May 18th. I think, look, the big question everyone's asking was that Fury fight against Nganu a blip or was it the sign of a wider decline? I mean, Nganu's ranked 238th on box rec. You know, he's 0-2 and, and he knocked down Fury. Did Fury Just not on take that, him? were you surprised that they elevated him to number 15 in the WBC? Very surprised, yeah. But I mean, look, he's a big name and he's big money and boxing's entertainment money, isn't it? So what I think is going to happen, I mean, I think you'd ask me a year ago, I think, as I always say, a a good big and beats a good little and for Fury now you look at it you sway towards Usyk you know can you really underestimate Fury though it's a brilliant fight I don't think it'll be that easy on the eye that's my prediction not that easy on the eye it'll go to points I think it's very difficult to call but if, you, if I have to know I'd probably say Usyk right now Brilliant. Adam, all the best, mate, from Punch Out Boxing. All the all the best for tomorrow. I'm sure it'll be very uh, much. I'm sure it'll be a win. And oh, I'll say very finely, but I'll be looking for a knockout for, for Joe Absolutely. Joyce tomorrow. Do you think that's get, what's gonna happen? We need to get stoppage, yeah. We want to get stoppage. Good stuff. All the best, mate, from Punch Out Boxing.